So we got some turkeys outside doing their thing. There's a female at the end of the driveway behind these bushes here. There's another guy over here. There's a few more over there. They're not as big. Let's see if we can get a better view of these guys. Where they got? There he is. Hey, big guy. You can hear them scrape their feathers on the ground. Come on, guys, do your thing. Oh, there's the girl. I knew she was going to come eat some of those flowers. There's a little patch of these tiny bulbs that grow over there. And these... The turkeys come over and snip some of them up and they eat them up like pieces of spaghetti. The leaves, that is. If I wanted to, I could probably go get some oats. There's a few of these turkeys that will actually eat from my hand. Rather nervously, but they'll do it. Most of them won't. They're still way too... You know, it's not like they'll just let you pet them or something. Like, they're still, they are wild to an extent. But they're not stupid. They'll take a free meal if they can get it. They walk through this neighborhood all their lives, eating people's, you know, cat food and dog food and stuff that get left out back or whatever. pretty neat how big their feathers are because they lose all their feathers once a year. Once summer shows up, I'll start finding their feathers all around outside. See, they're going around back now be over there because that lady keeps a little dish of cat food outside. And she also puts a tray up with like some bird seed and nuts and the squirrels come and dump it out and the turkeys go back there and pick it all up. I don't know what these guys have been gobbling at this whole time. There's nothing over there and I can't hear one making a noise off in the distance. 
Unless maybe there was a dog barking that I couldn't hear. And the girls got gone. They're like, oh, well, I'm not going to keep showing off. It's just weird if there isn't a girl around. <laughs> Although these guys still are because they're younger. They're more or less still practicing, more desperate. They're not as big as these two guys over here. These two would chase these guys off if they came from across the street. Oh, it is chilly out. It's going to be Easter this Sunday, and it's supposed to rain today. I guess it's good for the plants. Oh, yeah. These are the flowers that the turkey came over and ate earlier. Here she is. Hi, little mama. So these are the ones that they come and eat. They usually come and get them when they're a bit younger. Let's see how the ends are snipped off. Sometimes they'll grab them from much lower. And then they'll end up with a big old long piece. But yeah, these are just some bulbs. They just showed up one year. Back when my grandma was still alive. And when they bloom, they're the cutest little flowers. They're like little bell flowers. They're just going to hang down. And what's neat is these, these big bunches like this come from a single pod. See like this here? That'll open up and it'll have all these flowers inside of it. Like, uh, let's see, like this one here is gonna do. See, it kinda almost looks just like one. But as this green peels back, all of these flowers come out. So you can see this one is still kinda peeling back. These ones were some of the first ones. They've been growing for a couple years now. And you can tell by how much more flowers are coming out. And their um, bases are thicker. Whereas some of these smaller, younger ones that are growing from a seed They've only got one or two flowers coming out of their little pods. This one's a second year one. It's got like four. And there's another young one. There's only two in that pod. But these ones are like two or three years old. The ones over here are like four or five years old. And they just keep spreading. Because all these flowers eventually make a little seed pouch. And when it dries up, the seeds just kind of sprinkle out. And then they grow the next year. And then the ones that stay start creating a bulb. And then they're bigger the next year and after and so on. But uh, what's neat, these always end up blooming around Easter time. And then after they bloom, these dry up. And then it just looks like this afterwards. It's just bare rock. I mean, these get kind of brown. You just, uh, you wait until they're dead and you just pull them up so you don't yank the bulbs out too. But even if you don't pull them up, they just blow away. And it looks like this the rest of the year. You wouldn't even know these exist until around late October. And these all start, you see green starting to come out. 
Another turkey jar again. We're back at it. There's the girl. I don't know if you can hear the bass that they're creating when they do that little scrape with their feathers. There's a it's a very deep noise. These guys are trying to get our attention now. I wonder why they're just walking down the street. They're probably trying to get what little sun there is to reflect. Because those light tan colored stripes that go around their feathers, um, those actually have a kind of iridescent, metallic, or rainbow color to them, depending on which section the feathers are from and how old the feathers are or the bird is. I've got some inside where it looks tan, but then when you hold it to the light just right, it, it looks shimmery, like silver or sometimes green. Uh, there's a... a like a maroon, amber kind of shiny color. It almost looks like eyeshadow. The kind of shimmer. Like early 90s shimmery eyeshadow. But without the reflective sunlight, it's just that dull tan color or just black sometimes. They're too far away to be that interesting now. I think that's going to be it for now. She definitely doesn't seem interested. And those guys are all the way over there for whatever reason. It's pretty much done.